If you like hand embroidery, then small Christmas ornaments are great projects. They're quick and easy to do, and they look beautiful. So here's five different ways that you can finish your little hand embroidery pieces into a Christmas ornament. The first and most obvious is to uh, finish it in a hoop. So here's a couple of examples. These hoops are three inches, but you can even get hoops that are two inches and four inches isn't too big to use as well. Um, so these are just framed in the hoop and there's a lot of different ways you can finish the hoop, but I just did these simply by trimming away the fabric and then putting a layer of glue just to hold that securely. And so you can see um, that is a really nice finish, but it's also quick and easy to do. Then another way to finish your pieces is to mount your embroidery on a piece of cardboard and then just glue a piece of felt onto the back. And so this gives your pieces like a minimalist finish because there's no frame, there's no edge, it's just your embroidery that is featured. Um, and it's also quick and easy to do. Then another version that takes a little bit longer to do, but it looks really nice, is to finish it with this edge stitch. And this is an overlapping cross stitch. So for this one, I mounted the embroidery onto a piece of cardboard, and then I mounted another piece of fabric for the back onto a piece of cardboard, and I put them together, and then I did this edge stitch. So we can see that it looks really nice there, but it it looks really special if it's done with variegated thread because you can see the color changes. Another option is you could also have embroidery on the back, so it could have embroidery on both sides. I just chose to put plain fabric onto the back, but that is another really nice way to finish off your pieces. And then a fourth way is to put piping on the edge, and this makes a little frame onto your piece. So this piece I did the same way. I mounted my embroidery onto a piece of cardboard, and then I mounted another piece of fabric onto the cardboard, and then I put them together, but I, when I was joining them, then I put this piping in the middle, and that gives it a little frame to it, um, so that you can, um, make your own piping or you can buy pre-packaged piping uh, but that is another really nice finishing option and then the last finishing option is to make it into a little pillow so you put a uh, backing fabric and then you just stitch the two together and if you use felt then you can just stitch around the edge you can have your stitching visible you don't need to worry about the edges um, fraying or anything and uh, so that is a fun version to do with felt. And these are just lightly stuffed. So they're not stuffed really tightly like you would for a pin cushion or something. It's just really light, uh, but it's a little pillow. And then a variation of this is if you don't even want it stuffed, you can just have no stuffing and have it flat. So these little mittens, they don't have anything in them. It's just a piece of felt on the back and they're stitched together. Um, so they're done just the same way. It's just that this one has stuffing and this one does not. Um, so there's five ways to finish your embroidery into a Christmas ornament. I hope that you enjoy it. If you want tutorials for all of these finishing met methods, um, I do have tutorials for them all at my website. So you can find that and other embroidery inspiration at ebitastudio.com. Thank you.